Hi guys, it's me Cody, and I've had a few people ask me how do I remove background noise such as static from my gameplay commentaries. The kind of hissing sound that you can hear in this video because the screen software is recording along with my laptop microphone for demonstrational purposes. Well, I use the free recording software Audacity and I use an effect called noise removal. It's pretty fast and basic to understand and I'm going to go over it step by step with multiple scenarios. So step one then, install Audacity and step 2 open and record your audio just so you know I will be recording the audio into my USB microphone that's a Samsung G-Track microphone it's a decent mic especially for instruments for commentary I would probably recommend a Blue Yeti or a Snowball they're fairly priced and most commentators use them so back onto the subject noise removal as you can see my input will be at 1 for all of the demonstrations mic volume is set, distance from the microphone is going to be relatively the same along with all other variables. So this is my audio from my inbuilt laptop microphone. Hi guys, my name's Cody and this is audio test number one. My laptop process is making a little noise there and I'm just going to save that compressed so you can listen to the finished version. So this is the compressed, the saved audio version recorded from my USB microphone with no noise removal done to it. Hi guys, my name's Cody and this is audio test number one. As you've just heard, there's a little hiss, not much, but it's good to clean that up. Now then, these are the steps to remove the static audio hiss. Step three, select a segment of the audio with the background noise. These are the parts that you will see small audio waves. It's best to select at the start or the end of the audio when you're not actually speaking. And it is very important that you do not select all of the audio. You only want to target the background noise. Step 4, with that selected, go into the effects at the top and choose noise removal. Within it you can change your settings and then choose get noise profile. Now select all of the audio, you can do this by holding down the control key and pressing A on your keyboard. Go back into the effects and at the top you'll see the repeat noise removal. Alternatively you can hold control and press R. And that's it, you will notice the small audio waves have gone, or have been reduced. So compress the file to using projects, or save as to come back to this. And this is what the audio just saved sounds like coming through my microphone. Hi guys, my name's Cody, and this is audio test number one. Now then, I'm just going to show you another quick example, and I'm going to create some more background noise. I'm going to turn my room fan on. And this is how it sounds like through my laptop microphone. Hi guys, my name's Cody and this is audio test number two. Hi guys, my name's Cody and this is audio test number two. And that's how it sounds through my USB microphone. So follow the steps on screen again, as shown before. And this is the final product. Hi guys, my name's Cody, and this is audio test number two. You can also keep repeating it over and over, however it does affect the overall quality, especially if the background noise is quite loud. If you can't get rid of the unwanted noise, it may be your computer, or try adjusting the settings and remember to always record in a quiet environment. Hope this video helps, if it did then please hit the like button, and if you have any questions then just ask, but please follow the instructions closely. As always, it's been a pleasure, and thanks for watching.